We found an absolute gem today. This is a 2007 Newmar London Air that was designed to compete with Prevos and Newell's. And we have a celebrity RV salesman today. Beep, 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 beep. What's going on, everyone? It's a little loud out here, so we're gonna go inside, take a look at this rare, rare coach. I don't even know how rare it is. It's, there's only 17 of those made, so you can say that. Only Holy 17? Snap. I'm hanging out yeah. with Matt's RV reviews. Yo, right? what's up, Theodore? Hey, Matt, what's up? Oh, it's in really good condition, too. Matt, I'm excited to show you this coach that sure. you're actually going to learn a couple things because. I know you haven't caught every video on my channel because right. I've got over 400 and almost 500 videos. Right. Did you ever see the one I did with Theodore, Malin Miller's grandson, showing his prototype Newmark coach? I, I saw bits and pieces of it, yeah. Boom, there it is. You can tell. Miller, who used to own Newmark not that long ago. Man, that was a good video. Mm, good music, too. I need to find that song. That's his, he had it repainted like a King Air. Oh, we were detailing it. Mm. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, today we are gonna show you some RV history. I wanna introduce you to Theodore. Hey, everybody. Theodore comes from a family, really some of the pioneers of the RV history. Theodore, would you be willing to tell everybody who your grandfather is? My grandpa is Malin Miller, who used to own Newmar not that long ago. Behind us, we have a historical RV. This is actually the first RV that ever had Comfort Drive, correct? Yeah. I'm honored to share with you all today some of the history of this awesome coach. So can you tell us a little bit more about this coach? So this was trying to compete with a Newell or a Prevo. So this wasn't a production coach. You guys heard it. This was trying to compete with a Newell or a Prevo. That's so cool. I mean, what a small world that we're able to talk to Malin Miller's grandson that I've got his phone number. Such good people. I actually had a chance to have dinner with Malin Miller. Huge thanks to that whole family. Just the nicest, most down to earth people. I think we're in a coach that's just like that. Mm. This is an 07. I believe this was an 05. I believe his was an 05. So really excited to show you guys all of the different stuff in this. Like, look, it's got a suede headliner. I'll show you some of this stuff while Matt okay. fires everything up. Turn all the lights. Notice how the air conditioning vents are all curved. A lot of detail work into the ceiling. When Matt told me there was a Newmar London Air, he originally thought it was a 2011 and it's easily mistaken for a newer coach. Uh, I had no idea how rare of a coach they had. Neither now, did this I. Is, yeah, <laughs> so this is listed for about 209,000. 209,000? Yeah, and we'll confirm that. I'll leave a link to the video that I did with Theodore in the description below uh, where he really goes through a thorough walkthrough. But today, Matt and I will kind of go through this uh, this coach. And it was actually two videos because at the time, I didn't know how to make a video over 15 minutes. So it was separated into two parts where Theodore shows us all of the equipment on his 2005, which was the prototype. Look total. At this door. Oh yeah, it's all pocket air doors. And I like that everything is working. How do I get out? Press the button. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, there's so much cool stuff going on in here. Uh, we got, we're gonna go back out there and show you guys, but look at this huge digital touch screen. This woodwork is just over the top, super nice. And this is a bath and a half actually. So huge rear bathroom. I'm just trying to get all the lights turned yeah, on. Yeah, well, well, we'll go back out here. We're gonna show you guys back there in a second, but uh, I've got to point out beautiful, uh, like a granite kind of a tile floor. And even the couches had that cool diamond pattern in the stitching uh, to break things up. I believe this table actually comes out. There's a button somewhere that will extend that table. And this is so cool. You know, the woodwork that they do over there at Newmar is over the top. But on this coach, they just took it to another level. 
600 horsepower I saw. 600 horsepower, it is pre-DEF. A lot of really cool stuff on this. Hell yeah, we don't need that DEF crap <laughs> yet. Yeah. Anyone that appreciates woodwork and craftsmanship, uh, this coach, they did not hold back at all. Just absolutely stunning woodwork and these captain's chairs matter are these bigger than normal yes, or it's a mid-entry coach look too at this. and the cool mid -entry thing entry on a diesel wow yeah. yeah this is a very rare coach notice it's got the diamond stitching as well back in 2007 that was so far ahead of the game such a nice coach uh, a driver's door as well yep driver's door and there's something really cool theodore taught me it actually has a ladder that when you open the door the basement bay opens and a ladder comes out uh, it is on the spartan chassis can i run inside real quick yeah. and get some specs yeah absolutely yeah, i'll be right back y'all i'm gonna keep running through it so there's a tv that actually comes down out of the ceiling right here as well as another tv right there and th there's a camera uh, i'm not sure what that camera is exactly for but it's definitely oh i think it's something set up so you can keep an eye on the coach while you're going down the road all right i'm gonna just start pressing buttons it could be cleaned up a little bit so you just press the button And boom, you've got a fold down uh, sleeper sofa there. You've got an outlet behind the couch here. Nice, and when that all opens and closes, you can just feel you know, how well built that is. And it's got over the top trim work around the windows here. You can see it creates that kind of different shape which gives it a totally different uh, feel. It's got the shades and it looks like they put little stickers here so if you want to go to movie oh okay i'm not sure exactly how to work the power blinds it's something we got to figure out anything that would be good to tell everybody on youtube about this coach i mean other than what we already talked about what's um, up theodore well you could, there's only 17 of those made so you can say that only Whoa. 17 yeah. I'm hanging out yeah. with Matt's RV reviews. Yo, right? what's up, Theodore? Hey, Matt, what's up? Yeah. Hey, Rock, I can't wait. Are you going to be at the Tamp RV show? Is a pig's <laughs> pork? <laughs> you know it. I want to meet you so bad. So. Hey, I'm having a 100,000 subscriber party. I'll tell you about it after the video. Okay, okay, sweet, sweet. Cool. Cool. So one out of 17. Yeah. 17 made and then yours the one that your parents had was the second one and your grandpa had the first one or yeah yeah i think that's how it was yeah back in 05 and then they made them oh man i think they made them in i don't know i need to look at the brochure they only made them for like two years yeah yeah so, yeah do you know if there's anything like any problems that someone would need to be worried about on these or um the air slides if you don't watch out and maintain them, those can be an issue. Um, cause it's like air seals instead of what they, what they use now. Yeah. Um, hey, can we tell from the VIN good. number what, what, which number this one is? Oh man, maybe. What is the VIN number? Ensign 50013. Okay. Um, see my VIN number, I think it's the VIN number, or no, my coach number is five. Zero 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 six. Where so do I, I find a coach number at? Ah, I'm trying to think. Maybe on like this, the tag by the. So does, is this thing a mid entry? Yeah, it's a mid entry. Okay. So there's, it doesn't have a uh, door by the driver. Or no. Yeah, yeah, it's got the door there. Okay, because okay, some of them didn't have that. So there should be a little tag there by the door. I I think the coach number's on there, but I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. But uh, if you would call someone at Newmar, I'm not exactly sure who, but they could tell you uh, which one this is. I could maybe try to get a hold of someone to see if they know. Yeah, all good. No, no big deal. Uh, the last, yeah, 0013 is the VIN. Um, 54,000 pounds. Is, is that how big your coach is? Is it 54,000 yeah. pounds? Wow. Uh, I know the fiberglass is different. So the fiberglass is all like like glass together. 
there's no seams in it like there is now. Oh, so really? That's something kind of unique. Yeah, if you look outside, like if you look at the front cap, it should be. I'm pretty sure they did it on all of those London Airs. If you look at the front cap, uh, there's no like transition seam between that and the oh, rest yeah. of the coach like there is in modern ones. Okay. No. What number was his? What number was yours again? My, like, the unit number was 500006. This one's 500007. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So it's one after yours. So there you go. Prices went up. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, what, uh, what color is this thing? I just texted you a picture. Oh, okay. Let me look at yeah, it. Yeah, check that out. Well, this is pretty cool. We're doing a video walkthrough right now. I hope you don't mind being a part of our walkthrough here. No, no. That's totally fine. Nice. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention about those that I actually just discovered recently is the ones with the mid-entries have a longer wheelbase. Really? Than, than the, like, the, I'm trying to think what, K3, Spartan K3 chassis. So, like, what the King Air would have now those have a longer wheelbase because the front wheel can be up further because there's no door in the front. So, yeah. Huh, that's interesting. Does it have paint over the windows at all? Yes, yes, yes it does, yep. Okay, see, this is pretty cool, but this might be my uncle's motorhome because I know, so there's three of us that had the first one, so it was my grandpa, my mom and dad, and then my uncle, Matthew. And his motorhome, I don't remember a lot about it, but I remember that it had paint over the windows. Well, hang on. So this might have been your Uncle Matt's yeah, coach. Yeah, I want to see a picture of it, but that would be kind of cool. Yeah. It's the next one in line. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, no no paint over, over the window. Yeah, no. I thought it had paint over. Oh, no, it no, doesn't. That, that, that was that American coach. That was the American people. coach we just looked at. We're, oh, okay. we're confusing so it. No paint okay. over the windows, so. Dang, damn it. Oh, still, man, still Matt trapped. was about to boost the price <laughs> even more. Yeah. 209 to 309. Oh, bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. Thanks, man. I'll send you some more pictures of it and appreciate yeah. the time. And Sounds good. Thanks, Andrew. All we'll right. Talk to you later. Yep, take care. Thanks. Nice. This is a rare, 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 rare coach. We just got off the phone with Theodore now. Did you get some more specs on this coach so we yeah. can do a proper walkthrough? Yeah. We're kind of all over the place, a little ADD in this video, but um So we, so we had it at 2499. It's on sale for 2099. It's a uh, uh 07 London Air L A B D 4541 Unit number 500007, so one after Theodore's. It's 45 feet. It has a... Uh, it's a bath and a half model. Yep, it's on the Spartan K3 chassis. Cummins ISX 600 horsepower. Really awesome. Four slide outs, 45 feet and everything. Nice. So let's show you guys the half bathroom here. I'm gonna leave a link to the video that I did with Theodore because no one will be able to show this coach better than Theodore 100%. did. And there's only 17 ever made. So that Dang. was cool that we got to call Theodore a huge thing. I mean, that's, Dude, what a cool how it all what a small world it's it is so exciting yeah so well hopefully this video helps this coach find a new owner I uh i really appreciate andrew doing this and helping us so make sure you call me do not call general rv of tampa because then they'll be like andrew who call me i will get you in contact with a salesperson with a salesperson at general rv tampa this way we make sure andrew gets credit oh appreciate that yeah so we're about to show you the bath and a half real quick, but real quick, what's your cell phone number in case they want to call you? 301-906-0962. That's this personal cell phone. If I don't pick up, just send me a text, and all you got to put is London Air, and you'll get a call back ASAP. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So let's keep walking through this coach, and Newmar pulled out all their cards on it. Check out that tile backsplash with beautiful granite countertops. And I mean, this... This, oh, it's oh got a Fisher gosh. Paykel dishwasher. And I wonder if it's soft close yet. I don't know if these, yeah, soft close on the drawers. Induction cooktop. This is major league. And then notice all the vents have like really cool woodwork, but there is a fan and a vent, but you don't see that. You just see a super cool, like a Prevo or a Newell style ceiling. Look at that sink. Wow. This thing's heavy too. Mm. 
we're gonna have to watch that video again i'm so excited uh, yeah we're now. gonna sit in this in this coach and watch that was one of my first really that was about a year ago so half bathroom uh let's turn the lights in here boom all those same finishes and really you know the woodwork in this the hardware soft clothes uh, this was the real mccoy We don't, do we need to do the toilet? I don't even think we need to do the toilet test in this. It's a, the it's toilet a, test is irrelevant in here. It's, it dude, gets this, the is, this is beyond. Th this gets the prime pooping position. <laughs> when you have a marble toilet, a marble toilet, you pass. <laughs> no. Nice GE refrigerator. And then it looks like an all-in-one washer dryer here with some shelving. We are running the generator and the motor right now. So you do hear a little bit of that. You can hear that 600 running. America right there yeah but I love how they did the styling how the valances are all rounded to really give it a different type of a look it's Art Deco Art Deco yeah have you reviewed this coach with Andrea yet no no or Andrea no. Andrea yeah, sorry yeah. no we only all review new coaches on, yeah. on our show well cool. so all of that crazy woodwork does not stop in the bedroom here I don't know is that a king or a queen what do you think I think I that, think it's a king I think it might even be like in between or... Yeah, it's a Camper King. Camper King, okay. Yeah, that same beautiful woodwork. I mean, just over the top with all of the decor in this in this coach. It really is the real deal. And then, of course, the huge rear bath. And can we press this door? How do we close these doors here? Um, Pocket air door right here. Yep. Heads up. All right, I press the button. Nice. And then you want to let yourself out of there, buddy? This is How do you feel about this rear bath? I feel great about it. It has a radius shower, which I'm not a fan of. Never been a fan of those, but it is a really nice size radius shower. You can definitely see the, uh, I don't know, if it's like marble or something. I, I don't know. What yeah, that is. solid it's surface solid there with sure. a tile as well. And it is the 605 is right below us yeah, running. Yeah. It's got the engine hatch here. I like that it's here in the bathroom. Yep. And then a huge rear closet. You've got a second sink back here. And look at how nice this closet is. Fully finished out with shoe cubbies, drawers, that same, those same high-end drawers. Soft clothes even in the bathroom. All right, let's uh, let's cruise out here and Matt. Oh, you're ringing. If someone's a serious buyer and they want to step it up on this coach, how can they get old? Call my cell phone three zero one nine zero six zero nine six two. Send me an email mattsrvreviews at gmail .com. I will hook you up with somebody at the Tampa store, um, who's going to know more about this. You know, serious buyers, come down, take a look. It's going to sell fast. You know, it as soon as Andrew publishes, it's probably going to sell within. His, his turnaround time is 24 hours. <laughs> so come on down, see it for yourself in person, and we'll make sure we take care of Mr. Andrew Steele so he can, it's, it's, you contact me so we can help him so he can keep on making awesome videos like this because airplane tickets aren't free. Hey, all, all good. I got a lot to be thankful for. A lot of other stuff I got to do out here too. But I always got to stop in and see my man Matt here. By the way, I know you're busy selling coaches, but congrats on 90K views. <laughs> 90K subscribers. Matt's getting close to 100K subs. Greatly appreciate all of you. And you can see the whole Matt's RV Reviews crew at the Tampa RV Show coming up soon, right? Yep. You can uh, find us at the Nexus RV display. Awesome. Appreciate all of you liking both of our channels, uh, subscribing to both of our channels. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Burr, burr, burr.